Today we're going to take a look at the Force One F100 Ghost. So a couple of months ago we uh, checked out the original version of the F100. This one's completely black along with the remote controller. So now with this guy it's going to be completely ghosted out, which sounds like it's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm going to give away one of these brand new F100 Ghost quadcopters. All you have to do to enter is 1. Be subscribed to my channel. 2. Like this video. 3. Turn on post notifications. And 4. Leave a comment down below telling me what you would do with this albino drone. One of my favorite things about the F100 is that it has these brushless motors right here. Like very high quality brushless motors which you don't usually see on a quad of this size so this is really a premium drone so this is the phantom 4 pro and this is the f100 and the motors on the f100 are slightly smaller in diameter but then also in like the thickness um they're quite a bit skinnier so i guess what i'm hoping to see is that these motors work in a similar way to the uh phantom motors because that would mean this is gonna fly very very well it's got its own instruction manual right here it's actually different from the original F100. I haven't actually even seen this yet, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah, so this is actually um, kind of like the second version. I can already tell by the way that the top part is shaped here. This is like a redesigned body. I thought it was maybe just gonna be a copy of what they had done before. Um, no, it looks like it's completely redesigned. Still got your awesome brushless motors. It's got your same camera mount if you want to put a GoPro on there. We got the battery right here and it actually is the same size battery as the old ones. So you can use these interchangeably. 1800 milliamp hour battery, 7.4 volts. We got the props right here, which they're actually black. If they were really trying to go with the ghost theme, I maybe would have chosen white props, but those would get really dirty really fast. So I like that you got a nice accent of black prop guards. We also got the landing gear, which is black. Maybe they're just talking about the body itself is like a ghost and all the accessories so you can't see them are black. That actually might be cool to see at night. I just found this inside here and it says uh, register now to receive a free crash kit. It looks like it's got a little USB thing. It says to plug into a computer to register. I've never seen anything like this before. So I guess plug this into your computer. Maybe you get like, I don't even know what you would get, a code or something to uh, uh, register for a free crash kit. That is awesome. You got your charger right here, same charger as before. A couple of spare parts, screwdriver, the uh, thumb sticks to put on our albino remote controller. Same remote controller as before, just in a new white finish. I think it's time to take this for a test flight. All right, here we go with the maiden flight. I put on those extension legs because we are in quite a bit of tall grass. So you can see it's just peeking up a little bit. I definitely recommend putting on those extensions. Let's see how this guy flies. All right, so to arm this, it's a little more complicated than most drones. You have to push down this red button and then turn it on just like that. Wait a second and then take the throttle all the way up and down, then it's like paired, I guess. So now to start the, the blades, you have to push the red button one more time, and now the blades are going. Those brushless motors are so quiet, I can hardly hear it. Maybe that's why they call this the ghost, because I don't remember the, uh, the other, the black one, the original F100, being this quiet. All right, let's fire it up. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be this quiet. You can still hear it, but like compared to the uh, the last one, I thought the motors were going to be the same. I guess somehow they're a lot quieter. Makes it kind of ghost-like. Responsiveness is very good here. Nice and controlled. Got quite a bit of speed. Do you see how much speed we got going on here? Jeez. Look at that. Wow, this is super fun to fly. You can see there's a couple of LEDs on the back there. It's actually hard to see in this this bright light here, but there's like two blue LEDs on the back arms and uh, two white LEDs, which actually like span the entire length of the arm. 
this would be cool at night to see how that looks uh, in the dark when you just see those lights and you can hardly hear uh, the drone flying. One of my favorite tests to do with these uh, smaller guys here is you can actually like shut the power off if you go throttle all the way down it actually kills the motors which is kind of fun this one's actually a little too big because it's actually dangerous to do this so if you have a smaller one I would recommend trying this out it's also super windy but basically you uh, go up super high can you still see it it looks, it looks black in the sunlight here uh, but basically you go up super high it's really windy shut the motors off and try to uh, go as far down as you can before leveling out. Let me try it one more time. Just like that. Kind of just a fun little thing to play with there if you get bored of just your normal flight. Try mixing it up a little bit. So it's getting really windy now. I'm going to drop this down and then we're going to head back inside to finish up this review. All right, we're back from the field test there and I must say the Ghost version is definitely an overall improvement from the original F100, the body design kind of just seems like it's a refresh. And with the original guy, I had a couple of issues with it losing contact with the remote controller, and we had uh, one not so good crash with that, but this guy seems to have fixed all of those issues. It flies perfectly. Once again, the link to check this guy out, or the original one, both of those links are down in the description below if you want to find out more. That's all I got. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.